Hello everyone and welcome to ABB Robotics Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly memorize robot points by using the flex pendant that you can see over here. The flex pendant is also known as the teach pendant in the robotics literature. But before we start with explanations we need to provide an answer to the following question. Why do we need to memorize robot points? And here is the answer. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention that this is a longer version of this tutorial. Namely, in this longer version, I thoroughly explain all the steps, and I do more than that. I also explain how to pan the view, how to rotate the view, how to move the robot, and I explain some additional things about coordinate systems. In addition to this video tutorial, I created a shorter version of this tutorial that more compactly explains everything. This shorter version of this tutorial is also provided on my YouTube channel and I will also copy and paste the link in the description below. The longer version of this tutorial is for complete beginners, that is for people who don't know anything about ABB Robotics, however the shorter version is for more advanced students. Namely, a good and disciplined approach for robot coding is to first define and memorize a set of points in the robot workspace. And then, once you define these points and name them, you will be able to easily program the robot to move to these points. Consequently, it is of paramount importance to properly understand how to memorize points in the robot workspace. And that's what you will learn in this video tutorial. Here is a brief demonstration of what you will learn in this video tutorial. Over here, that is in the workspace of my robot, I memorized three points. And to see these points, I need to click on Go To and here are the points. Then, I can simply click on this point and I can go to that point by clicking and holding this button over here. And as you can see, the robot will move to that point. Then. I define the second point over here and if I click and hold this one I will go to the second point. Let me move this so you can see it better. And here's the second point and then again I define, the better to say, the memorize the third point and I can simply go to that point. Of course here I'm manually moving to these points, however in practice you will use these three points in your rapid code or in the code that you will manually implement in your flex pendant. And this is a good strategy. So if we have a robot workspace, we will actually memorize a set of points over here, and they will be actually data structures over here, and then we can simply refer to them in my code. I can simply say point 1, point 2, and point 3. Okay, let's start from scratch. In this video tutorial, for illustration purposes, I will be using Robot Studio to model my robot, that is to create a digital twin of my robot. However, if in practice you have a real ABB robot, the procedure is the same. Once I open and activate the teach pendant, then you need just to follow the steps that I'm doing on your real robot. However, here I'll be using Robot Studio since Robot Studio is very good for teaching ABB robotics. Okay. So once you open Robot Studio, you will see this main window. If you don't see this main window, click on New, then click on Project, and over here, do not select this option. We will manually add a robot and a virtual controller, and click on Create, and be patient. Now, let's briefly go over Zoom, Rotate, and Pan. But before we do that, let's add a robot to the workspace. You click over here. Then you click on RB120, click OK, and here it is. To zoom, you need to use the middle mouse button, that's the rolling button, so you need to roll back or forward or simply up and down. You can also zoom if you press the middle mouse button and move the mouse left or right. To rotate the view, press and hold Control, Shift, left mouse button, and then move the mouse and to pan, press and hold control and move the left, actually, and then press control, 
press left the mouse button and move mouse left or right. Okay, the next step is to add my virtual controller to my system. So you need to click here and click here from layout. Click on next, next, and click on finish. And here you need to wait. You should wait until you see the green status over here. So be patient over here, it will take some time. And here it is. Okay, the next step is to open our Flex Pendant. To do that, you need to click here on the controller and over here, click on Operating Mode and set the Operating Mode to be Manual and click on Enable a Device. Now, to open our Flex Pendant, there is this option Flex Pendant over here, click here or you can just simply click, don't click on anything else, don't expand the menu, and here is our flex pendant. Now I will pan this view over here, close this since I will not need it, so you can see the robot and you can see my flex pendant over here. Here it's very important that motors are on, this means that we can move the robot. Okay, next let's quickly go over robot jogging, click over here to bring this menu, click on jogging, and over here, if you click, you can actually select the mode of jogging. You can see that it's currently axis one and three are active. This means that by rotating the joystick or moving up or down or left or right, you can actually jog the robot. If you click over here, then you can move four, five and six joints and you can see what's happening over here. This is basically one movement, another movement, and finally you have rotation. You can activate rotation like this. And you can see that this faceplate is actually rotating. Besides this motion mode, you also have linear motion mode. If you click here, then you will move linearly along X, Y, and Z axis, and you're actually moving this point over here. That is the center of the face plate. And then you have reorient. Reorient basically means that you are fixing this point over here and that you are rotating the robot around this point. And you can see it over here, how the robot is being rotated around this point and rotation is along these axes over here. Okay, now let's click OK over here actually let's go back once more to motion mode and let's set the motion mode to be axis and click OK next let's try to understand what is written over here this is very important to understand before we actually memorize our points so let me bring back the teach pendant and let's see first of all if you now click over here you will see that we are having tool zero attached. Tool zero means that we don't have anything actually, and this is the coordinate system actually. That's the tool zero coordinate system. And over here you can see the coordinate system. Here you can see the work object, you can see the payload, just joystick, etc. Now, let me show you one more thing. Now, if you click here on motion mode, and if you set linear and click OK, you will see some coordinates here, X, Y, and Z. So what are these coordinates? Well, these coordinates are actually the coordinates of this point over here in the base coordinate system. And you can see here the base coordinate system is active. So where is the base coordinate system? The base coordinate system is actually located over here at the center of this base plate. Okay. And how can we verify that? Well, we can verify this by trying to move, for example, to Z0 and to Y0. So let's do that. To move to Y0, we simply need to do this. Actually, this increases Y. So we need to go to Y. And here we got the message. We are close to singularity. Let's just acknowledge that. And then let's move Z down. So let's try to move our robot down little bit and you can see that we are close to singularity this means that basically we are reaching the limits or we are kind of having problems with the fact that these two basically joints are aligned so let's try to fix this 
we can close this and let's just click here and acknowledge and let's fix this to fix this you need to click on motion mode you can go to axis mode actually let's do this axis four to six and then let's move one of these axes so for example four let's do this and let's move five a little bit like this and then let's go again to this one click axis one and three and let's now a little bit do this as well as do this and let's go a little bit further and that's it let's click OK then let's click again on axis select linear so we can see the coordinates and we are moving in the base coordinate system as an and as I mentioned previously let's move Z to zero to make sure and to verify that we are actually moving the center of our face plate that is this coordinate system over here so let's decrease Z like this this increases this decreases and if you see now Z is reaching the ground we are almost there oops we are close to singularity acknowledge this doesn't matter let's now move Y a little bit and see what's happening how the Y is being moved over here and let's say go further all the way here okay so y is almost at the zero let's try to push it at the zero this is very difficult okay here let's say this is approximately zero okay so let's say this is approximately zero and then let's move z all the way down and here it is oops we can see 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 on zero 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 okay let's say this is on zero for Z okay now let's look at this photo what happened over here where is this point we are almost hitting the ground and here Z zero and Y zero and you can see how the coordinate system is located of course it's placed over here this is the x-axis, this is the z-axis vertical, and y is like this. So y and z actually bring the robot to this point, that is this point is almost hitting the ground. Okay, this is very important to understand. So verify this on your real robot. And over here, always look what is written. What are we moving? What is the point we're moving? We are moving to zero. What is the coordinate system? These points here are in the base coordinate system. Good. Now that we understand this, we can start with memorization of the point. Next, we explain how to memorize a point. But first of all, let's move to that point that, point that we want to memorize. To do that, click here on linear, select axis 1 and 3, and let's move a little bit our robot. Let's lift our robot further rotate the robot and here it is and let us assume that we want to memorize this particular point over here okay so how to do that well to do that we need to click here then click on program data and over here we need to select a particular data structure namely ABB Robotics defines several data structures that are used to define points, orientations, and other important geometrical properties. So over here we need to find a data structure called Rob Target. So you cannot see it over here. So click on View and click All Data Types. And these are the all data types or all data structures used by ABB robots. And we need to find rob target. So if we scroll down, we need to find R. Okay, so here it is, and here is our rob target. So click here, or you can click twice to bring this menu. And over here, we will actually define our point. Now, look what will happen if I click on new. If I click on new, I will see this menu and I can name my point. I will call this point, point one. 
and you can see scope, storage type, tasks, and module. We will not play with these options. So let's click on OK. And let's double click here since we can see our point and here it is. So what do we see over here? We see the coordinates of our point, which of course we can manually change. However, let's not do that. And this is very important. So you can see that points are manually memorized and we actually memorize this precise point. And now again, the question is, with respect to what coordinate system x, y, and z are defined? Well, they are defined with respect to this base coordinate system, since this base coordinate system was active when you actually defined that point. And this is very important to verify. To verify this, let's, mem let's memorize this number, 294.42. So if you click here, and if you go back to jogging, and if you click over here, axis on linear, we should see 294.42 and that's the precise x coordinate of this point and we learned that these positions are actually in coordinate work object and you can see over here which is actually base frame this is the same thing currently okay next let's continue now, let's jog away from this point. For example, let's go a little bit from that point by, for example, going over here. And now, how to go to this particular point? Well, click on Go To, click Point 1, and click and hold Go To. And you can see that we can go to that point. Now, what is interesting over here, let me show you if I jog again away, is that you need to press and hold go to okay and this is very important so this is how we can go to that particular point next let's practice how to memorize other points well to do that we need to repeat everything or you can see that this window is already open so click here now let's memorize another point first of all remember always you need to go to that second point for example, let this be the second point, somewhere over here, and once you move your robot to that particular point, then you click on New, and let's call this point Point 2, click OK, and here is Point 2. And you can see the coordinates of this point, here they are. OK, click OK. Now let's verify these two points. Let's jog away from all of these points, for example, by, let's say, going somewhere here. And let's move to these points. To move to these points, click on Jogging. And over here, click on Close. Then click on Go To, select the first point, Go To, Hold. Press and hold, and you will go to the first point. Let's go to the second point. Now we are going to the second point. And here the, it is. Okay, and over here it's very important to see that active work object is work object zero. This is very important. Okay, that's all for today.